Hey guys, I'm Samson Nabina, and today I would like to share some robot training tips with you. Some people, they improve a lot with the robot. Other people, they stay the same. Maybe other people even get worse. So what are the determining factors and how can you best use your PowerPong robot to make great progress this season? Robot training is critically important more now than ever before because you're probably stuck at home. You're probably maybe gained some weight, your game has gone down, footwork's a little bit sluggish, maybe your spin is not quite as sharp as it used to be, and you really need to make some progress. So that's why this video is critically important. So I'm offering this video just free to the community, just so that you can get the most out of your PowerPong robot. Okay, so what are some tips and what are some pitfalls that people fall into? Well, instead of talking about robots, let's talk about normal training. So when you're doing normal training, let's say you're doing uh, drills with a friend or a coach or a practice partner, how well does your training convert over to match play? For some people, it's more than others, okay? But what is the main determining factors for who gets most out of the drills and who gets the least out of the drills? Well, a lot of times it has to do with your decision-making skills, but more importantly, it also has to do with your mindset. When you're training, are you training with the same type of intensity that you would play in a match? Are you learning to take your time between points? Are you learning to analyze the situation, understand what's happening? These same principles actually apply to robot training as well. For example, if you just view it as a machine over there just spitting balls out and you're just hitting the ball, yeah, you might get a little bit faster, yeah, you might get a good sweat in, you might feel tired, but does that actually help you for a game? Possibly. The way that it helps you for a game is if you can imagine. Your imagination is your most powerful weapon. Imagine that you have an opponent over there. Imagine that you just played a ball extremely wide to his backhand. He dove over there. Now he's running back to the forehand and you decide to double up and play another ball extreme to the backhand. Why does that help? Because you're picturing the situation in your mind. You're picturing the actual opponent and you're picturing what positioning you have to take, what timing you have to hit on the ball, and you're actually picturing that shot going to the desired location. Same thing is true, um, let's say if we're doing a serve return exercise. Um, this power pong robot's gonna give you a short no spin or short back spin serve, and you move in and you have to make a good decision on whether to push long or whether to push short, whether to flip to the middle or maybe do an angle side spin push off the side. So you need to be able to imagine a real opponent over there and you need to be able to imagine that you're actually playing the ball to the desired location. The world's top players, um, they oftentimes use multi-ball. How do they use multi-ball as a means of being able to practice their mental game or being able to practice their ball placement? They picture it in their mind. So as they picture it in their mind, even if there's nobody on the other side, they're able to create different scenarios. And the same thing is true when you do power pong robot training. When you do power pong robot training, you need to really be able to use your imagination to be able to, be able to picture your arrival over there, to be able to picture in your mind being able to pin him in his transition point, be able to see him lean there and then make the decision to play for the wide angle, maybe on the next ball. So, the people that get the most out of the robots are the people that can use their mind the most. Also, if you use your mind, you're picturing real opponents, it makes the practice session a lot more enjoyable. If you just see it as a net and a machine just firing balls out at you, okay, that's fine. It's not bad, but really nothing's happening. But if you can train your body and your mind to play just like you would in a game, you're going to get a lot more out of your practice. Another thing, this is the last tip and then I'll let you go today. Another thing that you can do is you can learn to also keep score. Keep score against the robot. Imagine the power pong robot gives you a short side spin serve and you push that one short. And then it gives you a deep back spin ball, let's say to either corner, and then three top spin balls anywhere. Okay, so imagine these five balls. In order to score a point, you need to make all five on. You need to make the short push, you need to be able to make the opening loop, and then you need to be able to make three more follow-up topspin loops. If you make all five shots on, you score the point. If you miss any of those five, the robot gets a point, and you can play games to five or games to 11 or whatever you want. Why is this important? Well, for one, it's fun because you can see if you can beat the robot. Number two, it actually helps you to measure your current progress to see how well am I actually doing on it. And then number three, it helps you to be able to regulate future progress. So when you're training with the robot next week or two weeks from now or a month from now, you'll be able to say, you know what? I used to lose to that robot on that particular drill 5-1 or 5-0 or 5-2 every time. Now I'm losing 5-4 and occasionally I'm taking a game here and there. 
So it helps you to be able to regulate your progress and kind of see how you're doing. So the more you can use your imagination, the more you can picture it as a real opponent, the more interesting it is and the more you're going to get out of it. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you have any robot questions, make sure you send me an email. My email is tt at samsondivina.com, website is samsondivina.com, and I'm a huge advocate of power pong robots. Not only do I use them for myself, but my students are also using it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.